Shibani, sir? Yes, sir. I'm sharing the screen. Ah, okay, sir. Yeah, it's visible, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, guys. So, uh, so welcome back again to the recap. So we had a gap between like one week, the last class. So I'll just quickly refresh what we have gone through in the last week, like this is before that week. Uh, so we have the problem number two, that is uh, ellipse by using the uh, concentric circle method and then same ellipse we have done by using a rectangle method. Uh, I hope that everybody uh, like they have touched with the free cat. Uh, so then we'll move on to the fourth problem. So that is hyperbola. So I hope that uh, we have uh, in theory part we have gone through the uh, like this parabola. And then we'll next we'll see the how to uh, construct involute so of this kind. Okay, so we'll move on to the problem. So a ball thrown from uh, ground level reaches a maximum height of five meter and travels a horizontal distance of 11 meter from the point of projection. Now they're asking to trace the of the ball. Okay. So uh, let us assume that the, so there is the one person who stands here and then he just throws a ball. Okay. Now they have told it reaches a maximum height. So this is the five meter height. This uh, this is the maximum point uh, eight or something will be the maximum height, and it travels a horizontal distance of eleven meter. So if you take from P to S, it will be of eleven meter length, and uh, from the point of projection. So now they're asking to trace the. So we know that uh, once. Uh, the actually the path travels in a, a curved path. So this is a maximum height, and then due to gravity, so it has to fall. So and then it is just like one bounce. So the maximum distance is 11 meter. So this is the path if you trace the ball, which it would have followed, right? Now we will construct this in uh, precad. Now uh, the data here is uh, one meter and five meter, but in in your A4 uh, sheet or in your free CAD, so we don't go for such higher lengths. So we just will scale down, right? Now you just uh, scale down this uh, one meter equal to thousand mm. Then you just scale down to one is to hundred. Then uh, your 11 meter will be of uh, like 110 mm. Yeah. Uh, if you look into this uh, drawing, see uh, this P Q V O. So it is. Uh, similar to that of right side. So if, if you draw one half, you can just mirror it to other side. So you need not to draw the entire. Now first we will make this uh, square box. So that is the height is uh, five meter. So which is in general 55 mm. So go to uh, line option. Yeah, uh, those who know how to approach, you can approach on your own way. Sir, it's not in top view, sir. Yeah, sorry, sir. Yeah, so please uh, check the settings. Uh, so take the line. So to the center. 
and then I will take the height 55 mm and then give enter. Sorry. Take line. Snap is in on off. Now, uh, so this whole length is 11 meter. So we'll take as 110 mm. So only we are drawing this half. I will take uh, 110 divided by 2, that is 55 mm. So I think I have taken here also 55, sorry. Uh, excuse me, sir. It was not in snap mode. Can we check okay, it sir, out? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That plus symbol was not enabled. Okay. Then you go to line option. So you just take this end and then uh, draw horizontal line of length. It is 55, half of 110 mm. Now again, draw another line, horizontally of length 55 mm. Now so the vertical, sir, the vertical line is 50 meters, millimeters, right? Yeah, 50 meters. Okay. Yeah. Now you just join these two ends. Now we have formed the first half box, that is the left hand side. Now, uh, as we have followed earlier the drawings, we need to divide the, the vertical and horizontal lines into equal number of divisions. So they have the division, equal number of divisions are eight, vertically and horizontally. So there are seven points. So one, two, three, up to seven. Okay. Then the divisions will be of eight. So similarly, your horizontal uh, line also. Now uh, select this vertical line. And in data, so you have subdivisions. Now give the number to seven and then press enter. So now we have uh, divided this into number of subdivisions of seven. One, two, three, four, five, and then final one. Similarly, we'll do for the uh, horizontal line. Now same number of subdivisions, that is seven. Now give enter. Now this also divided into seven equal number of segments. One, two, three, and so on. Now from this uh, intersection point, that is the axis from here, you just uh, connect to one, two, up to seven. And then from the bottom segments, you just project it vertically until it uh, intersects the uh, line one and corresponding lines. So one to one. So second line to second line and third one to third. So the corresponding lines must be intersected. So first we will uh, draw, will connect from center to this uh, vertical height. So just go to line option. So take this end. So take this end point, first end point. Now again go to line option. Again choose the end point. So second end point of second segment. 
again choose line option so select the end point and third point similarly take line option this end and do it for the rest of the points the final one yeah. now so one two three four five six seven the so seven uh, points we have marked now just uh, connect from uh, project point one vertically or perpendicularly which interacts the the point one the line which is passing through point one similarly second one to second third one to third so like we need to do up to point number seven so to do that so just take line option or take the second end of first division so if you go here since we have taken perpendicular you just take uh, it's nearer to the that line and then just stop it now after that you just select this line and then give the trim or extend option then which will be intersecting the exactly to the this line okay so this is the easiest way you can do similarly take the line option again you just uh, draw vertically and leave it there and select the line use extend option and then extend up to second line similarly for the rest of the points select so extend option again select the line where you want to extend again line option select this project vertically select and extend option So while doing this, you zoom in. So then only you'll be going very close to the next point. So if not, it will be uh, confusing. Now the last division. Yeah. Select the line and give extend. Yeah. So uh, almost all the points we have uh, like intersected for each and every corresponding points now you just by using this spline option from here to here you can draw and then everything you can be mirrored so take the spline option now you just take the uh, make sure your Snap intersection option is on. So I'll take this CN. So 
first intersection point, second intersection point, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then eighth. and then give close. Now, as usual, you just select the curve and give the go to view uh, the angular reflection one degree, so deviation 0 0.01, you can view. Okay, uh, now just select this curve, you can increase the width, uh, I'll give three, and then give the color which you want to wish. Okay. Now, uh, coming back to here, so just select everything which we have drawn here to the, to mirror to the right side. So for that, I'll be selecting in the uh, model tree by using shift option you can select excuse me sir sir uh, sir that 28.5 sir 28.5 which one sir angular definition and deviation okay we ah, select everything and then convert sir Now you just you have selected everything. Go to mirror option. So select this end and select the other end. So we have got this. Now change this into uh, access format. So go to drawing style so dash dot so i think so since we have done mirroring right so again same thing has been came here so, so that's why it is not showing for us now the rest of the things you just give uh, numbering and dimensioning Uh, go to dimensions excuse me sir sir sir, uh, sir uh, kindly delete one of the line at the center there are two lines in that so delete yeah. one line and other line can be changed to dashed Give the dimensions. See, uh, here when you do, when you have done middle, it will be taking two separate lines. So this will be of 55, this will be of 50 mm. Now, to make this as a single line, you just select the, both the lines and give this upgrade option. Then it will be considered as a single line and we can get the length. and do the, the changes. And then
Evet. Uh, then uh, you can do yourself the uh, numbering and the texting. Yeah, then you have to give, uh, sorry, process. Here, the in manual, they have given 11 meter. You just overwrite that. So in text override, you can do this. Yeah. So 11 gap meter. Similarly, this one. Override 5 meter. So, mentioned the scale as one is to hundred that to be written, which is missed in manuals. Yeah, fine, fine. So, if we have followed the scale, right, you just mentioned that. So, somewhere here, scale one is two. Okay, you can increase the height. It's one is to hundred. Oh, ten has been sorry. All dimensions are in MO. Those things they'll give right, students. In data, it's... oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So since we have followed the uh, meter, right? So then another. Or diamond. Yeah. Yeah, so the so major part is we have come, like how to uh, you form the parabola, right? So rest of the things, uh, texting, you can do it by yourself. So is there any doubt uh, till here? Guys? So do you want me to repeat uh, any one of the steps? Guys, uh, do you want to repeat uh, any step? No, sir. So, can you able to do right? Yeah, uh, those are uh, well good in this exercise. You can uh, finish this exercise. I would request sir to proceed with the next exercise. I, after the, the completion of the next step of the exercise, We'll be requesting um, each one of you to present your screen to see how we are proceeding with exercises. Over to sir to proceed for the first exercise. If you have any doubt, you can hear itself fast before we proceed to the next exercise. If not, sir would be starting the fifth exercise of involute creation. Over to sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, guys, shall I proceed for the next exercise? Yes.
சார் ஒன் மினிட் சாரி சாரி ஃபார் இன்டர்ப்டிங் அண்ட் அண்ட் அகைன் and there is two things are important here one is uh, as sir was doing sir insisted to uh, make the all the selected lines or all the drawn lines spy line everything should be made again we have already quoted but we are quoting it again for this exercise it should be 28.5 should be converted for the angular definition to 1 or 0 whichever is minimum available in your system as well as the definition of the uh, deviation should be 0 or 0.01 so we have a uniformity of for all the uh, tools you have used for this that's one point second point uh, in the other session when uh, i was handling there was an uh, issue of not able to see in the subdivision number uh, shubhani sir can you just select the bottom line sir yeah so here it was line right so you kindly check it out under the data whether you can able to see under the data whether you can able to see the uh, subdivision yeah. part yes yeah, some of the students in the earlier session uh, in other, that's what i quoted in the last uh, other session uh, they were not able to see such kind of uh, subdivision under the data for such instances uh, you what you are supposed to do is uh, sir can you go to the model sir that model tree the first line you have drawn yeah that line should be wired should be upgraded to wire so it it will be becomes a lion so here in sar setup and my setup so no need to change anything sir so it is as it is yes. so what i am telling is you select that line sir yeah thank you first line uh, for sar and uh, myself of uh, system it is automatically taking as a yeah uh, taking as a wired line you can see the symbol it is in the form of electrical wire right and the and, and next to unnamed sari is showing in some of you it will not come you comes as a uh, wired line it might be comes like a normal line for such instances you need to select that line and use the upgrade arrow you check with the upgrade arrow or downgrade arrow then only the line becomes wire i am telling this only for those who are not able to see the uh, subdivision number under the data if you are able to see no issue you can go ahead many of you are many of the other session students are reported they were not able to see the subdivision under the data option for such instances the lion need to be chosen and upgraded to wire to uh, sorry lion to wire when it becomes wire you can after that you can check it out it will comes as a um subdivision will be available yeah mukesh prasanna uh, has asked a question sir should angular deviation of the line yeah everything should be changed to uh, not only for the curves or the spy line for all the um individual tools whatever you have taken uh, you can see sir can you select something some lines in that and we can show that to the students see all the things should be selected to uh, one and deviation of 0.1 so uh, sir have already explained the importance of this uh, if it is not been exactly followed there will be once you zoom it you can see it is not properly selected with the intersection points so uh, hope okay uh, prasanna would able to follow the answer for this yes sir yeah okay thank you uh, over to sir for the for his lecture thank you sir yeah yeah so so this is like major steps to be followed in the uh, the regarding problem number 4 then we'll move on to the the next uh, problem that is problem number 5 sir one student have asked a question in the chat sir okay i'm checking could you tell that how to delete the line which is on the middle line you just uh, let us take see now what happen is uh, even though if i not placing the cursor on the uh, center line it is showing me it as a solid line but when i place the cursor on the center line again it is showing the both the hidden line and the solid line right so just you click it 
and now you just give delete option now what happened is the mirrored like the center line has been gone now i have only one line now you just select that line and you uh, convert that into solid to dash dot line simple is that okay sir one second sir can you just repeat that uh, dimensioning 11m sir yeah this one yes sir see uh i mean now if i take the uh, dimension yeah see it is no problem you just take from this end and this end so if it comes okay if it not you just select both the lines then you can give upgrade okay now you just select this and do the uh, sorry changes the arrow size Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Other things you know, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just of uh, just give text override here. Yeah, text override eleven meter. Simple. Yeah. So shall I proceed to the next? Okay. Now we'll move on to the problem number five. So that is. we need to draw the involute of a pentagon of side 22 mm so this side is there right so ba so 25 it means that bc cd de ea so all the sizes of 25 mm equal sides now uh, theoretically you will be like by hand you will be drawing by using Uh, interior or exterior angle method, then you will be finding this D, and then you will be constructing. But here, you can directly uh, draw the pentagon by using the like uh, circle inscribed in the pentagon. In such a way, we'll be taking this. uh see uh if if you just if I, you have option called create a regular polygon if i click this first is asking to take the some center i have taken uh it is asking the number of sides take 5 but more than that again it is asking the radius right now what is the connection between this radius and the pentagon so usually will uh, if if i have a circle like this uh, right just for example i will be taking so just take a circle now in this circle itself i can create a pentagon okay so like this so here itself if you take yeah i think uh, so here it is making some confusion yeah so here itself i can draw lines like this and this and then i can construct a polygon the the edges of the polygon that like uh, corners a b c d are there right now all these corners or edges will be touching the 
uh, the circle. Now we can assume that this pentagon is kept inside in a circle. Now in order to draw this pentagon exactly, what we're doing is first we'll finding the center of the pentagon. Then from there, if you just uh, project horizontally, you'll be getting the radius of the circle, right? So in that way, we'll be finding the uh, the radius of the circle. Now, already the value has been calculated. So for easier purpose, uh, we'll share that. Now here the radius is eighteen point seven. Two, two. So you can take that as a radius. Now we'll start the drawing the uh, pentagon. So just go to the pentagon, uh, like regular polygon option. You just select any uh, point on the work bench, and then pentagon. You just give number of sides to be five. And then give the radius as eighteen point seven two two. Then give enter. See, we have got a pentagon, right? Now convert this into a wireframe mode. Now in the manual, one of the edges parallel to the If I take any uh, reference line, the edge is parallel to that. AB is horizontal. Now, uh, select any one edge. You use rotate option. Now, take this as a center. Okay. Now, it is asking the base angle. So you just take this line as a base angle if i rotate like this it is rotating now what you do you just rotate it to 90 degree it will be facing exactly 90 so just give 90 and then enter then you will be uh, the pentagon as how it is given it will be uh, rotated sir yes now sir what is the radius sir Eighteen point seven two two. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir. Yes. Sir, uh, why why should we give it as eighteen point seven two two, sir? Yeah, yeah just uh, I have told right. Uh, see, uh, actually, in this particular software, it, there is like no provision giving of edge length. Usually, any other software will give you. Since we are having the uh, edge length of twenty-two, right? Actually, yes. the procedure is to go with the twenty-two mm as the edge length, and then the regular way will be constructing. But in yes. this particular software, if you just look at, if I take center, help of sides as well as radius, it is forming the pentagon. Yes. Why? Because. Uh, if you see this pentagon, if I draw a circle with the help of a radius, it will be joining all the edge points. All the five points are there, right? It will be joining all those points. So that's why instead of uh, giving this twenty-two directly, if you measure the radius, you can construct the uh, pentagon. So, so that's the provision in the. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, this, sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. Soft. May I proceed with the answer, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, um, not only to Nikhil, but to others also. Uh, sir already told the answer. I'm just elaborating. Uh, so you know, in the week number one of grid sheet summation theory part about geometrical construction of pentagon and hexagon, the method you have used is drawing the pentagon using the exterior angle method for pentagon, right? Uh, which means 360 by 5 for hexagon, 360 by 6. So we'll be finding out the exterior angle. So there are many methods to draw the pentagon. One such method was discussed in your class by your other faculty members as exterior angle method. The second method is interior angle method. Third method is 
inscribing circle method as what sar has told now is uh, pentagon is inside the circle other way is circumferencing the pentagon which means the circle will be there outside the circle pentagon will be there so there are four methods to draw the pentagon as a simple case so with respect to the free cat the software is basically coded in a such a way in the back end they have coded not to give the side of any pentagon or any kind of polygon which means as in the question 22 mm we cannot provide the side which means the free cat software is basically coded only to create the any kind of polygon with respect to inscribing circle method which means inside the circle pentagon will be there or hexagon will be there that's the first point second one is uh, so which means of circle based inscribing method we must know the circle radius right the third point is why 18.72 so for all the polygon we must know the radius formula for that for example uh, sir can you just go down for the exercise number 7 sir in that we 8 i think 8 we have a square oh. that uh, intersection problem sir yeah see there is a square being intersecting uh, sir kindly just show that uh, procedure i have included the formula for that see for the square creation formula is r equal to a by root 2 which means r is the radius of the circle a is side of the square similarly for the pentagon there is a formula with the formula we have straight away arrived for the solution is r kindly note down r is equal to 0.851 into radius as on the side i repeat r is equal to 0.851 into a so if you substitute what we request in the what we required in the manual of exercise number 5 is 22 mm side so 0.851 into 22 which is the a we end up with 18.722 that's what sari used not only for that exercise uh, for the other exercise we have hexagon sir kindly go to that hexagon previous one sir that section of solid sir yeah here also this hexagon cannot be drawn with respect to the side of 25 because free cut as i quoted it only take the radius so the formula for hexagon is very simple it is r equal to a right because it is of 360 degree circle is also 360 degree so r is equal to a so i repeat once again those who will be listening to this also for square r is equal to a by root 2 pentagon r is equal to 0.851 into a hexagon r equal to a so this is the formula used for creating of this thank you sir please go ahead sir Uh, Nikila, so hope you got it. Yes, sir. Instead of following yes, this method directly, they can construct the pentagon. Yes, sir. Like yes, sir. Uh, very good, sir. The uh, uh, students, what sir is saying is also correct. So instead of uh, taking the, so this is only when you take the polygon. So as sir uh, is quoting, you can straight away take the line, and second line can be uh, taken angle. with angle. That will be already you will be drawing in theory, right? So instead ah, yes, of uh, remembering this formula, you can go your theoretical procedure. But it takes both time, maybe. Yeah, yes, sir. Both correct, but as Sir says, it takes time. That's why polygon is straight away available. Hope yeah. Nikila, you got the answer, and others also. Uh, please yes, proceed, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is how uh, the. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, we have. Take the pentagon in this way. Now, as you know that uh, we need to uh, extend the lines from each end, so from B, C, D, E, and then by taking radius as uh, AB and then B as center, you just cut an arc, right? So first, go to the uh, line option, and then see. 
now when i am like placing the cursor on the line it is taking going towards the center see it is not at all extending right uh, or if i take that even if i do extend it is not happening so why because it is Uh, sir is the base of the polygon exactly horizontal yeah one minute yeah exactly horizontal the, the base is hmm. now once again uh, i'll go back to take polygon to so choose enter give number of sides to be 5 Uh, radius is eighteen point seven two two. Enter. Convert this into wireframe. So select any edge. Rotate. So we'll take this as center. And the base angle will be this. Give rotate ninety degree. Now. I like this. One degree. Zero point zero. Yeah. Yeah. Now what you have to do is you select the polygon, and then you give downgrade. Okay. So. See now we'll see if it is extends. See now. the extension is happening now go to uh, trim you just give uh, a random length and then leave it there now taking ab as radius b as center then you just draw a curve which starts from a and then ends at 1 so that is a1 now uh, for that go back to your arc now the center is this is the b is center so this as center radius is this end see this end is the radius now it is asking the start angle so again that a itself start again you have to give another click there itself then it will start a curve till n so once it comes here you just click it now you just extend cd to 2 again uh, select this line go back to extend option just extend till and then now c as center c1 as radius so i'll repeat c as center and c1 as radius so you just draw an arc up to which cuts this line so yes so the b1 is random right the random length yeah b1 you just take the random length and, and then the... you cut an arc of length ba okay okay yeah. so uh, go to the arc option so c as center and then so on um, this as the arc length again select that and stop it here okay similarly now extend de to at some random length so select the line 
go to extend option extend to at random method. now d as center d2 as radius you just draw an arc which cut this line now go to arc option so select this center the radius is this is the radius again select this as a start angle then cut up to this end now extend ae to a random length so select this edge go to extend option and stop it now e as center e3 as radius you just draw an arc which cuts this line so go to arc option so e as center and this as radius and starting point and cut the arc and stop it now extend ba to a random length so select the line go to extend option so select a draw to a random length now a as center a4 as arc length draw an arc which cuts this horizontal line so go to arc select the this and and this as the arc length and starting point yes draw an arc now select all the arcs to uh, do the necessary changes so that is the angular deflection is 1 degree deviation 010 color change sir yeah now increase the uh, width to 3 mm then line color just do it random color and uh rest of the thing is the annotations and the numbering and you can give the uh, dimensioning as usual and do this how is next time five box yeah so so this is how you will construct the uh, involute and then uh, you do all dimension and all and then you can do the other things on your own yeah uh, is there any doubt uh so far in what we have done in today's class
Yeah, students, if you have any doubt, as far as asking, kindly go ahead with your doubts. If not, uh, carry on your exercise. By uh, next fifth minute. Okay, Koshi, yeah. go ahead. Sir, um, the one, um, the point, the arc, the second last arc, what is the center of it? The second last. This one, yeah, four, no? Four, yeah. What is the center for that? Yeah, E is the center. E, okay. Then before that? Before that. that is D. Okay. See, just we are coming like B, C, D, E, A. Just to the order we are following. Okay, sir. Yeah, got it. Yeah, so uh, of course she got cleared of his doubt. So if you have any doubt from others, kindly go ahead and asking Sir as well as myself. We will be ready to clear your doubts. Yeah. So in G's here, already the uh, free CAD exercise submission for exercise number 4 and 5 is posted. So once you finish, then and there you can uh, submit your exercise. exercises. I uh, will be grading it. Uh, already three exercises have been graded by uh, Shivani sir. Uh, thanks to sir. So everyone has been submitted it. So before the due date, kindly submit it. So the next fifth minute will be um, calling your people randomly to show your exercises. Right, so yeah. take your time for the next uh, so whatever the stage you are in you are supposed to show it right, whether you are completed or not that's a matter of not that's not a matter of concern here we wanted to see how uh, exactly you are carrying out and the follow able to follow the instructions of our faculty members so kindly uh we will be as i said we'll be calling randomly the name so uh, whenever we ask kindly uh, show that by sharing your screen If anyone already finished, make use of the hand raise button to volunteer yourself to show the exercises. Yeah, Kaushik, kindly go ahead by sharing your screen. Kaushik, hope you are sharing your screen. Am I audible? Yep. Uh, Shubhani sir, your comments, please. Hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Right. Uh, all units are MM or what have changed? Yeah, what Sir is telling is it's not all units, it should be all dimensions or in MM. Okay, other than that, everything is good. Uh, Yeah, um, yeah, you can uh, stop the sharing of the screen. If someone has also uh, raised your hand. Um,
Okay, uh, sir, can we proceed by asking the students to the show that? Mm, yes, sir, fine. Uh, Akila, Manchur, can you just show your uh, figure by sharing the slide? Sharing the screen. Akila, Manchur. Okay, no response. Anush. Anush. No response. Vandana. No response. Okay, very good, Anush. No pros. Anush, have you installed the software and the practicing in uh, system? Can you reply in chat? Okay. Fazul Hidya. Gokul Varun. Okay, very good. Anush, no issue. Yeah, Fazul, can you just share your screen? Okay, Gokul Varun, kindly share your screen, please. Sir, I'm attending the class in the phone and doing it in my laptop, sir. I will show it in a minute, sir. I'll just log in from the laptop, sir. Yeah, sure. Good. Thank you. Hassan Basha Pakir. Uzain Basha. Sir, I am using my mobile only. Okay, connect through uh, laptop as said by Google Varun. You can connect through mobile and share your screen, please. Yes, sir, I didn't have PC. So, have you installed the exercise or not? It doesn't have PC, right? Yes, sir. Then how you have submitted three exercises in GCR? I am going to my online visiting sir. Can you just repeat once you what you said? We are able to see that you have submitted three exercises in GCR. So without having system, how we have completed? I am visiting to online cafe in my town, sir. Okay. Through that one, I am. Which which OS you have installed in that? Freecad only, sir. Uh, that that you mentioned. Freecad zero point. Zero point. One, one nine, sir. Okay. Okay, Jyotir Mai. Okay, can you just show your uh, diagram by sharing the screen? So I have, actually, I have a doubt. Sir, I am. Yeah, Jyotir, kindly mute yourself. Okay, Gokul Varun, we are able to see the fifth exercise. I have not Good. completed it fully, sir. Uh, like, uh, okay. My uh, freak had got stuck in the middle, sir. So you of have finished the fourth the exercise. Yeah, it got stuck in the middle. Of the okay, board. very good, very good. You can stop sharing your screen. Uh, Jodhi and Mayu, sorry for the interruption. You wanted to say something? Hello? Uh, Jodhi and Mayu, go ahead, please. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. In the question, yes. it was mentioned 11 meter, no, sir? First question. Yes, yes. But we took the scale right. as 1 is to 100, no, sir? Yes. Uh, why shouldn't it be 1 is to 1000, sir? No. Uh, what we have mentioned in the exercises. 11 meter yes sir. right but we have given that as 110 mm yes sir right so uh, one meter is 1000 mm yes sir. yes sir i got it sir. thank you okay thank you
கே கே என் ராகுல் கே என் ராகுல் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் ஸ்ரீ லலிதா ரத்னா தேஜஸ்வி எஸ் சார் ஐ இல் பிரசன்ஸ் சார் ப்ளீஸ் கோ ஹெட் Okay, K and Raghul, hope you have uh, finished the exercises of pre-cat exercise number 1, 2, 3. Okay, good, K and Raghul. Okay, I think Kaushik only now has shown the exercise. Okay, Rita, its screen is visible. Sir, 5th I have started just now, sir. 4th okay. I have completed almost time through, sir. Yeah, good. Kindly just open up the pre-cat exercise number 4. Uh, Shubhani sir, your comments please. Yeah, uh, just uh, do the, I think other few changes next time. That's it. Right. Yes sir, I haven't completed fully sir, I have okay, to okay. change. Yes sir. Yeah, fine. Yeah, very good Sri Lalita, thanks. You can stop sharing your screen. Uh, Mukesh Prasanna, can you just share your screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, Priya Darshini. Yes, sir. Yeah, kindly share the screen after yes, Mukesh. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, Mukesh Prasanna, it's correct. Just get that uh, all dimensions in meters here, okay? Yeah, it should be on. Sir, what is the change, sir? Uh, instead of mm, you have uh, written like typed meter. Just OK, sir. It. OK, sir. Yeah, next one. Only one you have finished. Shivani sir, uh, I need to clarify my doubt. Uh, it should be 1 is to 1000, no, sir? Sir, uh, if we take 1000, then we have to draw, obviously, uh, B, like mm, like 11 so mm. We have mm. taken, we have taken uh, 110 as millimeters, yeah. so the meter should be 0.11, sir. Uh, see, sir, like, uh, now, you just take 1 meter equal to uh, like 11 meter equal to 11 into 1000 we can write 1000 mm so oh, okay. 110 mm into 100 mm also we can write so the scale so value should be sir? 1 is to 100 then okay sir yeah priya darshani yes sir yeah mukesh prasanna uh, thanks for your sharing. You can stop sharing your screen. Uh, Sir said that your uh, all dimension, you are made it in M. As meter, it should be M. Sir, the scale should be 1 is to 1000, no, sir? Uh, sir, can you just answer, please? Sir, we are drawing it in MM actually, and then in, in the diagram, it's meter. 1 meter is 1000 mm, so. Ah, that's all. Now, the... 1 meter equal to like 1000 meter, right? 1000 mm. Yes, sir. So we are drawing 11 meter as 11 mm. Ah, 11 mm. But you're not actually drawing 11 mm, right? Yes, sir. Then uh, we, draw, we are drawing it actually as 11 mm, but we name it as 11 meter. So scale will be 1 is to 1000, no, sir. Oh, great. Yes. So actually, um, one meter is you know it is thousand mm yes, so uh sir what so, made it is 110 110 sm so what will come yeah. as 0. 0.11 meter so the scale should be one is to thousand so but if you do one is to hundred also it will be all right because if it's 110 110 110 into 100 is 11 yeah. meters anyways so it's the same That's you can do it taken, anyways 110 into yeah, 110 
sir uh, no, i but, think so we should have to do uh, 11 millimeters left draw not 110 Yeah, uh, Priya Dashini. Hope you are sharing the screen. Yes. So uh, the first exercise, the fourth one is right, and the fifth one is also good. Kindly change the color of the fifth exercise. Let's go. Very good. Okay, okay sir. Ritesh. Okay, Ritesh Prabhu. Sir. Now, can you share your screen, please? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm using my phone right now. I'm talking. Okay, join. Join with. join with system and share it again okay sai krishna yes sir can you share your screen please yes yeah, shankar and narayanan be ready to share your screen after this so can you see yes can okay, you open the free cat Yeah, can you yes. zoom it? Uh, it looks like twenty. Okay, twenty-two. Okay, previous exercise, please. Yes. So make that eleven meter and five meter. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, Shankar and Narayan. Okay, have you finished the exercises previously? Because you have submitted the previous three exercises, kindly ensure that in yes. chat. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Shiva Kritika. Yes, sir. One minute. Okay. Uh, after that, Shiva Nesh, be ready to share your screen, please. Yeah, screen is visible. Kindly zoom it. Okay, can you select that a B spiley? Yeah, the angular deviation was not changed. Got it. So for all the lines, I think it has not been uh, changed. So select all the values in the tree. I kindly follow our instructions. Select the model tree, all the tools. Uh, click the edit. Sorry, hide. You can you just ah uh, hide. Now enable the audio. Yes, sir. Yeah, go to FreeCAD. Yes, sir. And uh, the top one, you are able to see the mirrored in the bracket, right? You select all this. Or you can even press the control E, and uh, the the content is you need to select all the lines, all the curves, and make it into a zero angular deviation or one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do that. Other than that, everything is correct, and the scale should be one is two thousand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Stop sharing your screen. Shivanesh, can you able to share your screen, please? So, so can I? Yes, sir. Yeah, Ritesh, wait for a while. After Shivanesh, you can proceed. Shivanesh, yeah, Shivakartika, kindly stop sharing your screen. Shivanesh, I will share, sir. Okay. Ritesh, Prabhu, you can share that after that. If anyone okay. wanted, yeah. If anyone wanted to share your screen, kindly make use of their hand raise button.
Yes. Uh, Sir, is my screen visible? Yeah, one minute. Uh, Shivani, she can share your screen. Meanwhile, uh, okay. Mukesh Prasanna have answered uh, that confusion of 1 is to 100. So he made it as it should be 1 is to 100 only, sir. 11 meter is equal to 11,000 mm, which is equal to 110 into 100. Yeah. So what exact meaning is, since we have drawn the rectangle, so the scale is 1 is to 100 only. Actually, this is, uh, we can call it as a real scale is 11 meter. Scale ah. length is 110 mm. 110 mm. Yeah. So, so 1 is to 100 is correct. Yeah, sorry. Please go ahead, sir. Sorry. Ha, no problem, sir. Go ahead. Uh, same thing. Uh, what Mukesh Kanna was told earlier, I was uh, said same. Yeah. Uh, those if in that case, uh, one is a thousand means it will be of uh, one ten meters. It will be coming. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh... So I am just uh, reiterate the same thing what Sarah and Mukesh Prasanna said. Um, two points kindly uh, those who have made it as one is two thousand kindly check it out and those who will be listening to the lecture kindly check it out. It should be one is two hundred scale only. The reason is, uh, sir, uh, we have taken as one ten as mm, okay? and one is two hundred mean what is one is to one actual which is original, right? So that is 1 is to 1. So 1 is to 100 means whatever we are taking that being multiplied into 100. So the, uh, so uh, Mukesh Prasanna has also quoted the same and the Shubhani sir also given the same. And just reiterating the scale should be 1 is to 100 only. So don't get confused between the conversion of meter to mm because we know 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. That is everyone knows that. that. The scale factor with respect to the engineering graphics subject, it should be multiplied into 100. Whatever, if it is 1, then it is 100. If it is 110, then it becomes um, 11,000 mm. So the answer is scale should be 1 is to 100 only. Don't get confused. Okay. Uh, kindly, uh, Shivanish, kindly open up the free cat. Over to Shivani, sir, for the comments. Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, good. Next one. Yeah, fine. Um, you have finished, uh, Shivanish, have you finished the fourth one? No, sir. That markings and all I should do, sir. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, can you just convert that into PDF? You can ensure that can ensure everyone that is that able to do that. Yes. Yes, sir. I'll give some random numbers as of now. So, yeah. So, is there, a, yeah, is there a way to duplicate a text or something? Is there? A yes, yes. Uh, it is not duplicate. We can copy and move. Once copy. you take the text, because there is a large number of numbers numbering to be given. Yeah. So, you give one, you first take a, a, a toolbox, which is for a multi text. So, first time, once you take in the left hand dialog box, there is an option for continue. And copy. Uh, one minute, Kaushik. Uh, can you open that file, Sivanish? I think it takes some time to get open. No problems. Yeah, um, Microsoft Edge has opened for your PDF file. The next to free cat that is Microsoft Edge symbol is opened up. The PDF may be using it. Uh, it is by default opened with yeah. Yeah. 
it's nothing wrong we just wanted to ensure uh, okay can you just scroll down yeah very good okay thank you uh, shivanesh yeah someone we can stop sharing the screen someone of uh, wanted to share your screen kindly go ahead i think uh, ritish prabhu uh, yes, uh, yeah please yeah kaushik you got that too Kaushik, hope you are able to listen to us. Yes, sir. While creating the text, right? Yeah. Yes, you have Call option. For... I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shubhani, sir, your comments, please. Hmm. Yes. Good. Nice. Next one. Yeah. Currently doing that one, sir. Actually, that markings and also. Ah, so actually the extension lines you just shorten them. You don't oh, okay. need to do such okay, lengthy. Uh, yeah. Thank you, yeah. sir. Ritesh, I just wanted to add a few points. Uh, yes, can you try to check it out? Just wanted to check. Can you just go to the previous and select the B file and curve? And check the angular deviation and definition. Yeah, it's perfect. Very good. Very good. And uh, the next exercise. Okay, I suggest you one thing. You may check it out. You select the any extension line, any line that has been extended. Yeah, click this. Use the trim max tool. I click this arc. Click that uh, spiral arc. Yeah. Yeah, this is exact perfectness of uh, making that. Thing. It is not required, but if you want, you can. Uh, this this side you need to click it. Okay, so it's just extra point, but it is not required because uh, it is not exactly possible in the case of uh, theory part. Things will be without knowing the radius. People will be doing that wrong. So, uh, as I quoted, no need to extend that much length. You can have a small extension. The other way is you can uh, trim that one. Thank you, Ritesh. Uh, Ritesh, can you do one help for me? Kindly take that alphabet symbol. Yes, sir. Uh, Kaushik, go ahead. No, no. You take that alpha dimension A. Yeah. Uh, click somewhere. Yeah, Kaushik, you can also listen to this and others also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once you can click this continue and uh, make the create text please now you select the next area somewhere uh, next area yeah now we enter as b create text button so this is one way the other way is uh, can you just select the a close it and select it yeah. select this yeah use the move move tool yeah, in that, select the copy in the dialog box, the dialog box, relative. Yeah, there is a copy and continue. Yeah, now you can place your cursor somewhere, click it somewhere. Yeah, now it is moving. Click it somewhere and then again move it. But the copy was not enabled in the area. Now, uh, just close this. Close this. Okay, now close the dialog box. There is a top option. Yeah. Now you select any A in this. Uh, go to data. Once you you can change the A into some other text under the text. The bracket within the bracket you should give you should not delete the bracket no got it kaushik i hope others also able to carry out this yes sir got it. instead of taking multiple times of the same a you can do this way also okay thank you uh ritish prabhu yeah. and anyone interested to show your diagrams so those who are finished you just kindly uh convert that pdf that into pdf
and start uploading the exercise. Kindly note down all the numbers should be, uh, all the namings and lettering should be made. Uh, Sai Krishna, I think, is already answered. Yes, sir. Yeah, have you shared your screen? Yes, sir. Now? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are re insisting that it should be scale 1 is to 100 only. K and Rahul, have you shared your screen? Janani, KR. Sir, I didn't share, sir. I'm seeing in phone and uh, I am unable to connect in laptop, sir. Okay, thank you, Janani, and thank you, Kane Rahul. He is also oh. said as no, thank, okay, you, thank you. You can mute yourself, please. Arun Subramanian, can you share your screen, please? Okay, guys. Uh, Shubani, sir, can we wind up the session? Mm, yes, sir. Okay, guys. So, I uh, hope you are able to follow our steps. We are uh, witness that by asking you to share your screen. Thanks for your presence. Thank you, guys. If you doesn't have any doubt, further doubts, uh, you can start leaving the session. If not, we'll be here. Uh, you can ask your doubt. We are just only stopping the recording. You'll be here only till 5.15. You can ask your doubt. If not, you can start leaving the session. Thank you, guys. All the best. Good day to you. Thank you, to Shubhani, sir. You guys. We'll see in the next class. Sir? Yes? Sir, actually, uh, I submitted my third assignment. Could you tell what's wrong in that, sir? Third assignment? Yes, sir. 